of fashion on this week's episode of Do So Doors, I wanted to bring to light of how much nonsense and foolishness we deal with each and every day. I'll be the first to say that I've participated in unnecessary distractions that weren't serving my higher good. And now I understand that many of these distractions were just simply drama. So that's what we're going to be talking about is drama today and how you can avoid drama in your life and not participate in the unnecessary foolishness. So here's a few tips and suggestions that I have on today's video to help you avoid drama. The very first thing is that you have to, and you've heard this before, audit all the people in your life from all facets. And that means friends, work colleagues, and yes, family. Sometimes the people that train you the most are within your family unit. So when you feel that an individual is just toxic, you can feel it down to your core that this person is just not good for you. Don't go rogue. Don't go extreme. Simply just distant yourself. For myself, you know, I'll unfollow certain people on social media. I'll block them on my phone just because I'm blocking that negative energy. So check out episode 127 where we talk more about that. So the next suggestion follows the auditing and distancing yourself. It's the gray rock method. So the gray rock method is usually used for narcissists. All you do is become boring as a rock. You just give non-committal answers, no emotions, no verbiage. Again, you just become as boring as a rock. This is a sure way to distance yourself. And after you do it enough, they will usually mirror you and they'll do the same. So if you're distancing yourself, they'll start to distance themselves. It just depends on the person, but most people do that. And you'll start to see less and less drama guaranteed. So just, I think the best way to avoid drama is just simple analogy. Just think of drama as a rock in your shoe. Do you really want to walk around with a rock in your shoe all day? When you have the free will and the self-awareness to not participate in any form of drama, you can remove yourself, just like you can remove that rock out of that shoe at any given time. Because it all comes down to, at the end of the day, free will. We can say no to drama at any given time again. I think it comes easier when you find peace within and you know what you want and what you don't want. So that helps you, allows you to understand what you will and will not participate in life. So next time when you are feeling that somebody is causing some havoc in your life or some drama, just think of that or them as that rock in your shoe. Are you going to take that rock out and walk, you know, freely? Or are you going to keep that rock in your shoe and be bothered all day from the foolishness and the nonsense? Because for me, I don't like walking with rocks in my shoes. I hope this week's episode has helped you. And as always, thank you for watching. If you're looking for additional information, please visit my personal website, originlovefashion.com. And until we meet next time, remember to always stay glamorous.